Hello, hello, hello. Welcome back to my Flight Simulator X FS Economy Career Mode. This is flight number 22. This journey, we're going to be Euro Sky passengers down Duncan area. Uh, we're currently based in Lanzarote, but what's happened is that there's been a problem with our aircraft. They've had to make an emergency landing at Lanzarote, and we picked up the passengers that are going to Gran Canaria. Well, there's nine passengers on this flight, taking them in a Cessna 208 as per usual. I've already got the aircraft rented, costing us 690 dollars per hour and it's currently fueled up with 166 gallons right what we're going to do now is we're going to go and have a look in active sky and see what the weather conditions are like in uh, lanzarote right as you can see on screen that it's a nice sunny day in lanzarote this weather was last updated at 12 o'clock so it's half an hour old at this moment in time current temperature is 23 degrees celsius 73 degrees fahrenheit surface winds no winds on not it's variable from 0 to 306 visibility is 5 miles no clouds been reported nice time day perfect for flying we're going to check what the weather's like in Gran Canaria once again nice sunny day so these holidaymakers are going to step off the plane and they're going to step into uh, the Hazy sunshine. Temperature is beautiful, 24 degrees Celsius, 75 degrees Fahrenheit. Surface winds are 9 knots at 160 degrees, and it's a nice clear day. No clouds, visibility is perfect. Well, what we'll do now, I will go into my little nav map and I will show you the route that we're going to be taking. We're going to be using the SIDS and STARS on both airports. Now, we're currently sat at stand one in the general aviation at Anzarotti Airport. When we get pushed back, we will push back, our tail will turn to the left and we'll be facing in the south direction. We'll taxi just a short way till we hit taxiway Bravo. We will turn left, we will then turn right onto Romeo 3, continue in a southern direction all the way down till we hit Echo 4 then onto runway number 3. Let's zoom the map out. Uh, we've got some altitude restrictions. Um, at 2 miles after takeoff, we've got to be above 450 feet. Uh, we'll be heading in a northeasterly direction to the top of the island. Travel 2.9 miles to our next waypoint where we've got to be above 1600 feet, which is Delta 039 Delta. Then travel further in a northeast direction for 8.1 miles to Delta 050 Lima. We'll then turn right, we'll come across the top of the island to our VOR which is Lanzarote VOR. We will then turn west 8.9 miles where we'll pass our top of climb and we'll be going to waypoint Alnan. We'll then travel in a southwesterly direction 7.2 miles back over the island. We've got to be above 8,000 feet at Sawmob. From Sawmob we will then travel further southwesterly 37 nautical miles where we'll pass over the island a waypoint of Corsib. We'll have Fort Aventura to our left hand side. We'll then travel further southwest, another 32 nautical miles, where we will hit waypoint Lawpo. We'll have to be above 9,000. Then travel a further 25 nautical miles on the same heading, the waypoint Anita. From the Anita, we will then be vectored in to the airport. Um, having a look at chart, we'll then travel in a northwesterly direction, coming across and picking the ILS Glide Slope up, coming on runway 21. Right. Well, what we'll do now is we'll go and get the passengers loaded up. We'll get the plane prepped. We'll get our, we'll contact ATC and we'll take these to the initial destiny Gran Canaria so they can enjoy the holidays.
Highway on Taxiway.
just refresh the page and there are no, no jobs outstanding. We'll go and have a look in my log and we'll view that job. Right, the income for those nine passengers was $7,740. We rented the aircraft for one hour and 23 minutes at a cost of $690 an hour. So that was a grand total of $955.22. Fuel cost us $221.33. Round crew fee was $774. Booking fee was $696.60. That came to a total of $1,691.93. We had a distance bonus of minus $560.72 because we took it away from its home base. And that came to total deductions of $3,207.92. So our total earnings for this flight were $4,532.08. We'll go and put that into our bank. We'll just put 4500 into our bank. Now comes the exciting part where we're just going to go and buy our own Cessna. So we'll go into aircraft and we'll look at purchasing aircraft by model. Pick the Cessna 172. Search that. Uh, this one is due for some maintenance. So we'll not, I'm not going to purchase that one. It's only 4 hours and 37 minutes off. This one's 32 hours off but it doesn't have a GPS. I think this one's going to be the favourite. Well, the problem is it's over in New Zealand, so it's going to be... Now, as you can see, it's come back as invalid. The reason for that is I've not got any money in it. So, we will deduct 160... We'll take 170,000 out and put it into our cash. And then we'll go back. That's the 172. Search will confirm purchase. And why is it not confirming the purchase? Ah, I know why. Because I didn't purchase it for myself. Now we've purchased the aircraft. My bad. Anyhow, we've purchased the aircraft now. Uh, we've only got thirteen thousand dollars. We'll go and put that nine thousand back into our bank. And that, folks, is the end of today's journey. And don't forget, if you like what you've seen, smash that subscribe button. Hit the bell notification for any further videos and give me a big thumbs up it really does help me out i wish you happy flightings and bye bye